Hi and welcome to R4 Oodles. Today we're going to have a little DIY project for the kids. We're going to build a swing set. So that's what's coming up next. Okay, so I got some scrap wood to better explain the picture you see to the side here of the actual swing itself. This is some 4x4s, just scrap 4x4s. I started with my 4x6, 14 feet long. I cut about 8 inches off of it just for a pattern to get to be able to draw this. And so I got my 4x4s and I built it on the trailer, but you can build it, you know, wherever you want, just as long as you got a good flat surface. I marked the center of my um, trailer here center these boards up made sure the other ends were at eight foot apart and uh, so that way everything was centered took my four by six set it up here where I wanted it level with the top of the four by fours squared it up <clears throat> squared it up and then I drew on each side and when I did that I cut down each side of that and you can see that on the picture here uh, I don't know if it's gonna be on the right or left but you can see the finished product and after I cut that made that where it was sandwiched in between there still making sure my other end was eight feet apart and the front was centered the top was centered I took and laid this a scrap piece of two by six across <clears throat> and I actually after I cut that I went ahead and screwed this piece in there this little pattern piece just to make sure it didn't move and it was squared up so then I laid a piece of two by six across drew me a line down here this is where I knew how far the two by six was going down continued my line out got me the furthest measurement from each side cut my two by six that length then when I laid it up there we'll just say this piece you lined it up with the edge had this edge sticking over just marked that on both sides flipped it over cut it and uh, screwed that down and that's what you see in this picture here on the side before i flip it over i am going to put a brace across the bottom part but i do want to add that i repeated the two by six brace up here on the top after i flipped the entire frame over Down here on the lower end, <clears throat> I made sure that I was still my eight foot apart. I measured up three foot on both sides, and then I measured how far that would be. Again, pretty about the same process as up at the top. I laid a two by six across after I cut it to measurement, and uh, went ahead and marked it on both ends and cut the little triangle out and screwed that down. That's when I made the brace. And then after I screwed that together, that's when I flipped it over and added the brace on the other side of the top. So after we built the two identical sides, we got the four by six, which again was 14 feet long. We cut off the eight inches just for the pattern. We wanted six inches to be hanging over each end, so we marked that on both ends. We went ahead, got our measurements, and swing measurements 
from what I found are supposed to be 18 inches from the side, 20 inch uh, swing spacing with 18 inches in between with another 20 inch swing spacing, 18 inches and with the big round swing being at a 25 and a half inch spacing with 18 inches on the side from the swings a little bit further to the other arm. Here on the cross brace is actually the only place where we used our three inch decking screws, except for the brace that I added later, the metal brace that I'll show you at the end for extra support. Up here, up here at the top, we had our four inch lag screws. We use those on both sides for both side braces. And we put one four inch lag screw in the upright and then we had another it's actually we had to get a little bit longer screw it's a five inch lag screw on the lower side of that if you can see that that goes right there you got the four inch screw on the top lag screw and then a five inch lag screw on the bottom on both sides all four you know both sides on both ends we had to get some extra chain i can't exactly remember the size for that but i will put that in i'll add that in and just when i get started editing and then we have our swings from amazon i'll put a link in the description for those our round swing also i'll put a link in the description I hope y'all enjoyed this little project on all four oodles. I want y'all to tune back in with us if y'all uh and if y'all like our content, subscribe, hit that like button, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and come back to see us again on all four oodles. And God bless America.